Hey guys, it's Kevin. Uh, today we're going to work on a uh, Epson Echo Tank. We get a weird problem that uh, the customer uh, reported that she can get the first page print perfectly, and uh, the second page will be clogged, and uh, she's going to see the stripes or uh, like uh, pretty much lack of ink. So the second page will be clogged. I made this video just want to show you that not all clocks need to be uh, flushed um, because most people when they encounter a persistent clock immediately on their on their mind is let's get a cleaning solution let's flush the printhead. What I would do is uh, I suspect there's nothing to do with clogging, so let's print the nozzle check. You can see the nozzle check is perfectly. Uh, you got every line clear, and uh, uh, don't miss. Uh, 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 don't forget to check the yellow line. The yellow line is hard to see, and uh, but if you hold at the angle, and uh, you can see every line is there. So there's nothing wrong with the printhead. So stop try stop troubleshooting the printhead. Your problem probably is the ink supply. We need to check inside. For this model, to be open, to open it, you have to remove the two screws on the far left and the far right. This one on the far left corner, and uh, not this one, okay. There's one on the really far right, right here, okay. So remove those two screws. Don't mess with the middle two screws. When you lift the cover up, uh, do it slowly and uh, only lift up this much. Let me show you why. If you lift up too high, you might jerk off those th those three cables. I'll just use some uh, paper towel to keep the cover open. I need this, uh, I need to move this to the middle. You can see it's locked. So what I can do is uh, see that wheel. I turn it uh, four to six times counterclockwise. See, uh, it still cannot move. The trick is push to the right, then pull it to the left. Now I could just use my finger to pull those tabs in, and then now the uh, the damper can be removed. The damper seems okay. There is uh, about uh, three fourths of uh, ink inside each damper. Uh, it, it may be better I show you the yellow ones. See, the printer should get enough ink. There are plenty of ink in the damper. Although it's kind of, uh, let it be low, it's like a half full, uh, but I don't suspect anything wrong with the damper. Again, there's nothing wrong for the, on the printhead. So uh, probably there won't be anything wrong with the damper. So we need a, we need a try. I just stuck a syringe uh, in the cyan damper and start pulling. It's very, very hard to pull anything into the syringe. And this, this is not right. And you can see I almost get a vacuum inside the syringe. Normally, I should feel really smooth uh, ink flow into the, into the syringe. Uh, same as Magenta. So, when I pull, I almost get a uh, 10 mil of uh, vacuum. Uh, the same as yellow. And uh, I'll, I'll use yellow. I work on the yellow first because it's easy to see. Uh, just make sure the problem is not uh, the syringe we used. I'll take a razor blade, just uh, cut it, cut it at the angle. So the uh, final result should look like this. And uh, you can see it's really, really hard to suck any ink out of the damper. So if this is your printer, it has no problem to suck off a little bit of ink. After that, uh, the, uh, there will be a vacuum inside the damper, and uh, you, uh, you, your printer will starve, uh, starve with the ink. So it will show you clogging or it just no ink at all. Okay, let's see if the problem is the tube or the damper. So if I, if I remove the damper, uh, it's hard for, for me to insert the syringe into the tube. 
I'll use uh, adapter. I'm going to put uh, the link to the adapter above in case you want to have one. Um, you can see the problem is a tube. And uh, as I draw it, it's really hard, and suddenly the ink flush in. So there are, there are kind of clogging or kink in the tube uh, that are just fixed by, uh, by drawing lots, lots of ink out of it. And uh, you can see the ink can flow nicely into the damper. However, for the cyan tube, uh, no matter what I try, uh, I cannot unclog it just by sucking. Uh, you can see how we did is uh, we start with a printhead, then we troubleshoot backwards. So we test the uh, damper, and then we test the tube. And uh, later, what you can do is uh, you remove both ends of tube and uh, make sure there's nothing blocking the tube. And then you can work backwards to the tank. Oh, I forgot is when you do this, make sure you lift up the, the refill plug first, open it, and uh, then, then you discharge the ink this way. And here's the picture of the tank. So you get your uh, refill plug here, and uh, the tube, you can remove the tube without taking the cover off. So the next step will be, re will be remove the tube, and they can blow air or inject something, make sure the liquid coming out of the tube. Uh, it's pretty easy to unclog if the thing is inside the tube. And uh, then after that, your best bet is there's air hole. Uh, so you get the ink coming from the refill hole. Here's uh, where the printer uh, keep the ink. Then on the top, you can see a lot of channels. And, uh, and the, sometimes is the, when you move the printer, the ink get into the channel, then dry there. So there's no air coming in. So that's where you vacuum. Uh, that, that, that's, that's what caused the vacuum inside the tank. Uh, for this printer, the customer decided to stop troubleshooting because the printer is still under warranty. So uh, I just did quickly pack it up and uh, give back to the customer. However, I think you got the idea how to troubleshoot this. You can see after we've done, uh, although we didn't fix the problem, the printer still print a very good uh, nozzle check. So there's nothing wrong with the uh, printhead. Not all your clogging is from the printhead. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers. Oh, if you're a farmer in North, North Carolina and uh, you will need to get rid of uh, feral pigs, the wild, the wild hawks, coyotes, squirrels, please contact me. My bacon supply is kind of low. And also I want to try out my 3D printed magazines.